line. We can't hear a thing there. So uh, I think we'll just get the ball rolling. Hello, everybody. And my name is Art Manville, and my telephone cord is, is tangled up here, so I'm a little distracted. Uh, gosh, I'd like to welcome you to the webinar, our first chance to uh, be in front of you, uh, talking to you here since our great convention. Um, for those of you listening on the line, this is a webinar, so you should be on the phone and in front of your computer. However, if you can't be in front of your computer, you should be doing just fine because uh, you can listen in. So uh, let's get the ball rolling. Oh, I just thought I'd send another little picture of what it looks like when we're working today in our beautiful backyard here in the country. You can see that fall is in the air. Unfortunately, this picture is a couple of weeks old, so most of the leaves are already off the trees here. Uh, just love working from home. You see I've got my headset on there. And uh, gosh, but who is this guy? What a difference this is. <laughs> I look at this and I think, who is that guy? Where did he come from? Yes, uh, yeah, it was quite an experience, I can tell you, to be on the main stage at convention. I, I felt honored uh, to be there and to have the opportunity to be in front of so many great leaders, wonderful people with caring hearts, and uh, the energy was, was profound. The whole experience was uh, riveting, challenging, uh, uplifting, rewarding, uh, but as I've always said, we kind of do these things together, and I never really like to take a lot of credit for anything in particular that I do because I believe everything is like a co-creation, that we're all kind of in this together, and if it wasn't for the audience and it wasn't for Zango, you know, I wouldn't be here, I wouldn't be doing that. So it was a wonderful time we had there, Terry, and, you know, this is our sixth convention. I really think it was the best one yet. It really was, you know, for those of that you were not at convention, it was amazing. They really changed things up this year. Yes, of course, we had Blimps that was announced, and Beverly Hollister, of course, with her team, did an amazing job. We had Dr. Templeman on the stage. I mean, this company is always first class. I mean, they do things that we would even think of or even dream about doing. I mean, they just really go the extra mile to help our distributors. And it was so great to meet so many of you and have hugs from you. You know, we listened to your voices on the webinar on Saturdays, and we don't have a clue who you are, but I know when we walk down the hallway, everybody smiles at us, and I'll say to Art, so do we know them? And he says, I don't think so, you know? And so we just so appreciate all of you coming up and saying hello, and we're all so grateful that everybody made it to the convention. We had our great team, the U.K. team that is from the Sardis line there, which was a wonderful thing. And we had, of course, Krista, our daughter, which was a great adventure uh, she was going in different directions than we were, and, of course, we met up Sunday night and had a wonderful family meal together, and so that was a, a great time for the three of us. So it was just so great to meet all of you. So it was an awesome, awesome time, the best ever. Yeah, I like this picture in the corner. You're wondering why Terry is laughing on stage, and, you know, she gets a little nervous coming up on stage, and Dave Webb is always such a comedian, and, and for those of you there, that's her laughing because... We were supposed to have this question, you know, what are you most looking forward to? And, and we knew that was the question, but when he delivered the question to Terry, knowing that she was nervous, he said, what is your favorite color? <laughs> and so that is her reaction to that question. And that sort of lightened everything up, broke the energy up. So fantastic time. Uh, and some more pictures here. Here is our team dinner. These are, are the leaders that produce the most new uh, 5Ks and 20Ks and the people that produce the most of the glimpse at a special dinner on Friday, uh, Thursday night with Gary and Beverly Hollister and their suite, uh, those leaders. And down in the right-hand corner, they did something uh, completely unexpected. Uh, you know, honestly, I'm not sure what to think of it, really. Uh, but it's, it's a granite. Well, they have our names in granite uh, engraved in this granite rock uh, in a picture, sort of a shape of the mangosteen, and these are all the 500Ks have these out in front of the new uh, headquarters there in the in the sidewalk. It's like a Hall of Fame or something. So uh, We just feel so honored. I mean, for them to do that, to go the extra mile and to acknowledge us as, as the <coughs> leaders that we are, we just are really honored and grateful. And for new people that go to see the the offices they actually go and walk on these steps and uh they actually sent us a brick with the exact same thing on it with our name and all of it engraved so uh, i just want to thank zango for that as well so i i call this now going from the wow to the how 
because if you were at convention, you felt the wow. And I call it also a million-dollar meeting because those that went and got the vision, the true vision of what they could do with this business, could create a million-dollar-a-year income. There was 54 millionaire income earners. In other words, they've earned a million dollars in commissions, and some that were so close, uh, we want more of you up there on the stage. And so it was that kind of a, wow, this is going to be incredible. We've got this new product. The second wave is on. But right away then it goes from the wow to the how. And that's what I want to talk about now. And I'm going to bring on some guests here in a minute that are going to help with this. Now, one of the things that has become very aware to me is that you have to find your own how. This is not the day and age where someone is going to get up here and tell you exactly what to do. If I was to give you a script of exactly what to say to someone else, or if I was to give you a particular system that you were meant to follow step by step by step, it would be in your head and not in your heart. And you wouldn't have your passion into it, and I don't think it would be very effective. And that was the way marketing was in the past, you know. All of the marketing systems were created at the top, and the salespeople were supposed to execute those systems exactly to the letter, and they were all like robots and went out there. But there's something missing in that kind of system, and it's called creativity and coming up with your own ideas and coming up with your own passion. Because I can tell you, the more I look into this, passion is the secret to your success. So you've got to ask yourself, what are you excited about? You could be excited about lots of different things, and that's why it really is going to require what you might call self-contemplation here and searching within yourself and working for your goals and your dreams and things that you would like to change to find your passion. But it also, a lot of times, passion comes from getting involved in a cause, you know, changing the world. Now, that's a big cause, and I believe that we can do that with something like this one person at a time, one connection at a time, one heartfelt inspiration at a time. And so what are you excited about? Another cause, of course, is the toxic chemicals that we found out about that are in cosmetics. Now, some of you may get totally excited about that, right? And that will be the driving force to, to, cre to, create, your, to create your passion for your business. And so while well, some of you may be excited about just getting the glimpse on people's faces, that's all I want to do. And, and I'm going to have a skin nutrition party, just invite people over. I just want to put it on their face. That's your passion. That's cool. So others want to talk about the cause. And they wouldn't want to get people in front of people unless they were talking about the chemicals. Others, it might be something else. And so you've got to find your own way, find your own passion. And uh, this little book I've been talking about at convention, but a lot of you weren't there, Success Built to Last, Creating a Life That Matters, it's all about passion. And what he says in there in that book is that every great leader there ever was was always passionate about whatever it was that they were doing. And that was the key to success and the key to leadership. And it also explains why you might be struggling right now because you haven't really found your passion yet. And, and, and so when you take your message out without passion and without excitement and without enthusiasm, it's not going to be well received. If you take your message out with, what's in it for me, selfishness, you know, I need to sign somebody up, I need to make some money, all about you, there's rarely ever to me passion that doesn't come from service, from being able to serve others and make this a better world. So that's why they call it servant leadership. And I think we're all like that. There's a great quote in that book, very briefly, from the CEO of Girl Scouts of America. And she says that she believes there's a powerful energy when you combine service to others with passion for your own mission and your own work. And that's really what we're doing here. What is your mission? What is your passion? And then we're going to combine that with service to others. Terry, did you have anything to add on this? No, I, I just want to add that, you know, you have to find out your why, you know, your dreams. What is really helping you, motivating you to help other people? Because it's always about other people. It's never been about Art and, and me. It's about who can we help in our downline, as all of you know that. And so I think it's really important to be giving back. And so within that giving back, you will become great leaders. Now, um, there is not one way, okay? And we're not going to give you all the ways today. Our job, I believe, is to give you ideas and inspire you with new things that, that people are doing that are working for them so that you can get in touch with, hey, I think I would like to do this. Because I'll tell you this, doing is the most important thing. 
And so if you're sitting around wondering what to do and thinking about what to do and what we call moving furniture around and not into action, you will never figure out how to do it. I believe from the doing and the action, you will create your how, and you will figure it out because you're going to get better. And maybe, and I, and I, you know, we're going to talk about this before, but Terry was doing a lot of follow-up calls, and honestly, her first call that she made following up on people on Glimpse was not that good, right? But she didn't sit down and think about it for two weeks and write out scripts, you know, and pondered about it and sat on her tail not doing anything. She just got on the phone and made a call. And the next thing you know, the next one was better, and it was better, and it was better. And so if you will get into action, you will figure your how. So there's lots of ways to do this. Decide on what looks right for you in this moment in time, and then do something. Action is the key. So let's gonna, we're going to bring on some guests here that have been doing things in different ways. Remember, our whole philosophy is that there's three different markets, isn't there? There's the warm market, the cold market, and then the, what we call the people that you meet market. And what we're going to talk about next is the people that you meet market, how to create glimpse conversations from people you bump into. And we've got a great guest on here, which we just met at a convention from Edmonton area, Canada. I think she's just outside of Edmonton. Her name is Leanne Whaling. And, gosh, she has some great examples of meet market. Now, I know, Leanne, you're struggling a bit with your throat, so I hope we won't keep you on the phone too long. How are you doing, Leanne? Oops, no Leanne. Okay. I know what the problem is with Leanne. She forgot. I forgot to give her the moderator pin. So maybe Terry could give her a call, and we will skip before it. I just remembered. I forgot to give you. So Leanne, if you're listening, wondering why you can't be heard, we forgot to give you the moderator pin. Terry is going to call you. And so we'll skip on to the next guest, which is Deb Pazzo. Are you there, Deb? I'm here, Art. Yeah, forgot to give her the moderator pin. You know, that's, <laughs> that's how that goes. Well, I really wanted to bring Deb on, and we've had her on quite a bit lately uh, because she's doing such a fantastic job up in Windsor there. And, you know, one of the great things about Deb, she's an incredible leader, no question about it, but she has built most of her business, you know, um, in the last year really that she's been active, just over a year, um, from home presentations. And so... You know, I, I can't think of anyone better to come on to talk about how to do home presentations uh, and what's working and how you're fitting in this with Glimpse uh, than Deb Pazzo. How are you doing, Deb? I'm doing awesome, Art. Thanks very much for having me on the call. So um, we've got phones ringing in the background. <laughs> so. Well, Deb, listen, uh, I just wanted to go through, I mean, there's lots of ways to do this, and and you're – been working with Glimpse and doing some home presentations. I kind of wanted to go through because there's lots of different ways to do home presentations too. And I and I don't think you're finished figuring out exactly how you're going to do this. But what have you been doing so far, and what has been working? Maybe what has been not working, and what do you see as next for for somebody that say wants to do some sort of a home presentation with Glimpse? Well, I agree fullheartedly with your. You have to have your passion. Um, everybody came home from convention thinking we were going to hit the ground running, and we forgot to include our passion. Um, what I've been doing, I, I invite people to a glimpse experience and ask them to come and learn about skin nutrition. Um, when they get here, I include the whole thing. I include the juice. I include the 365 for sure the glimpse. It's, all, it's mainly centered around the glimpse if it's a glimpse party, but... Uh, Zango is my passion, and I have to remember it. It's a whole. Just like they use the whole fruit, I have to use the whole company. Right. Um, so I'm inviting people to come and learn about skin nutrition. This is something totally different. We didn't know anything about Xanthone uh, a year and a half ago. Didn't have right. a clue. And uh, I didn't have a clue about skin nutrition before Glimpse. So I, have, I had to step back a couple of paces and realize that I was, I was back to learning and sharing that knowledge with the people that I invite to my group. Um, we've had a few people inviting people over for free facials and, and a, you know, just a fun girls' night. We found that wasn't working because people were just coming to socialize. When we invited them for an in informational meeting, just as we had been for Zango, it turned the tables around. 
Well, I think that is the key, isn't it, for you, is that um, you have always called them sort of informational meetings. You know, right. you didn't even like the word party from the beginning. That never was what you wanted to portray. Right. And, and so it's important that people be invited uh, with the right invitation if you want the, the correct result. So for you, it's, it's a, it, and, and this is what I really sort of emphasize to people, you know, Start by doing what you're already doing and just adding glimpse to it, right? Don't try to reinvent the wheel. Right. Right. Now, when I'm having my personal friends over, that's totally different. You know, I'm going to, I am going to invite them for a fun evening, and we're going to do our facials and, and whatnot. But when I'm doing my glimpse experiences, it's information meetings. Right. So, what has been your uh, format then? Let's let's walk through an agenda, or let's say what is what is your current agenda for doing a, a glimpse home presentation for you? Okay. Basically, like you said, our, no one is going to be the same. So you kind of have to have a feel for who's coming. If they don't know anything about about Zango, I will play the exploration DVD first. I have my table all set up for their facials. I invite them down to the family room. Uh, we go through the exploration DVD, and then we, we go back to uh, the table where I lead them into glimpse. I explain, you know, again, Zango uses the whole mangosteen fruit. We use the whole company to, to teach you all about proper nutrition. Um, they will do half of their face. While they're doing their face, I'm, I'm of course, introducing the, the Dirty Dozen, all the the toxic chemicals that are on other products that they may have been using. Um, we go through the basically the same steps that anybody else would around the table. And then I do the, uh, again, they're only doing half of their face. So they're laughing and giggling because they can see the, anybody that's flushing, you can see the line. And it's just amazing because you have time then to tell them, don't worry, that, that's what you want to see. So we right. come down then and they watch portions of the Glimpse DVD that I feel are appropriate for that setting. Right. Um, and by then, there's going to be about 10, 12 minutes have gone by since their, their facial. But while they're watching the Glimpse DVD, that's when I'm introducing Zango to them. That's when I offer them a taste of Zango to, to remind them again of the single focus of, of on of our company. Um, Deb well, Deb, uh, just an interjection here. Um, how has this format been working for you? Um, I, I mean, I know you're tweaking it probably every day here. As, as you're, as well, like, like I've talked about, you'll figure your how out from the doing. So how has that worked? What was your last couple of parties like doing that system? How did it feel? How did it turn out? Actually, I was very pleased with it. I have to learn how to shorten it because some of them, you know, uh, They've become very chatty. Right, yeah. So I, I have to learn how to, how to shorten it. But actually, to get the information out there, it's been very exciting. Uh, people are learning. People are very interested. Uh, we have a bit of hesitation, but that's to be expected because we had that same hesitation with Zango at first. But they're right. getting the, invita er, the information, and um, they're amazed. They're amazed with what they've seen on their face. I actually had three women go home with only half their face done. They, they refused the last half of the facial because they wanted to show their family at home exactly what was taking place. And they're coming on board. And actually, one of them has, has talked to her husband about doing a business. I've had, well, um, I've had uh, people that have just been in Zango just taking the product, not really too interested in the business. That right. Are just so excited about the glimpse now because they. they yeah, it, it it's like a whole different dimension or different market that we're entering into, and what we're finding is that, you know, a lot of the people just it, this is different, and so it'll appeal to a different kind of person. Exactly. And so you've got to wind your passion into it, um, Deb. Before we get off the phone, I never even got gave you a chance really to comment on your convention experience, what that was like for you. Oh, it's your second convention, right? Was my second convention and. I, again, I just don't have the words to explain. I want to thank you and Terry for everything that you've done to help get us to this point, because without you, we wouldn't have been here. Uh, without Krista helping me out daily 
sometimes five, six times a day, I had to remind her, remember, Krista, you prayed for me. <laughs> um, but the convention was awesome. I would recommend anybody work, start now, working towards getting your people to Las Vegas. We had two people that uh, went just as part-time maybe ifers that are, they're going to do a business of this. They saw the potential. We had a husband that came just to support his wife to say, yeah, okay, honey, that's okay. You know, whatever you want to do. And now he's saying, oh, yeah, whatever I can do for you, whatever I can do with you, let's do this. It's, it's awesome. really, Deb, it's about changing people's lives because I know we met your whole team there. Mm -hmm. And it, it was just so rewarding and so exciting to see. I know your husband came as well. So yes. to see the husbands and to meet them and to see the bigger picture. Yes. is what they really saw, didn't they? They did. They yeah. Did. And they had such certainty when they left convention. I mean, yes. you cannot help but have certainty that you're out there to help the world. That's right. Well, thanks a lot, Deb. I really appreciate you as always coming on, giving some of your insights into it, and, and lots of different ways to do a home presentation. I know some people are showing just part of the Glimpse DVD. I think uh, Melody, we talked to her this week, and she had a lady that just really didn't know what to say or what to do hmm. and didn't really want to get up in front of people and try to explain anything right. and had some people over and just showed the DVD and then put glimpse on their face, and uh, three systems were sold. And so once again, it's the doing that will create results for you. So thank you so much thank you. Uh, for coming on, Deb. Thank you. Now I believe we can find Leanne on here once I number are you there leanne yeah i am art yeah you got quite a voice going on today well i just drank a bottle of zango so i'll be fine soon yeah uh well i mean i uh, just briefly leanne because i know your throat is really bothering you um we, you we talked about three stories um and it was really the bank lady the cell phone lady and the ups lady and you got into conversations and one of the things that you are doing that I think is unique, that I haven't heard of anyone, you're kind of approaching the market from opening up the idea of, do you know anybody or do you have any skin irritations? That's true, Art. That's exactly how I've done it. It's been so successful in uh, just, you know, seeing people have said, where have you been? And I told them, you know, I was at this wonderful convention and we have this brand new skin nutrition that's cosmetic, you know, chemical free. And we go straight into the skin issues or irritations. And, you know, you mentioned the psoriasis or the eczema and people just respond. It has been unbelievable, the response and the things that I found out about skin irritations. And it's you know, from the bank lady and the cell phone lady, the UPS lady, it has just been wonderful, and it just takes a couple minutes with them, and they relate to the skin issues, and they're right on ball with it. Yeah, I wanted to go through an actual interaction here to show people how simple this is. And so, uh, and you kind of summarized it, but basically you went into the bank, and you know this lady, and she said, you know, where have you been? And that's when you got into the new product, right? And that's exactly right. And then you said to her, it's about skin irritations, and, and, uh, and what did she say to you? She was actually going down to see her mom that weekend, and her mom has had eczema for years. And uh, I mentioned eczema, and she's like, oh, my God, you know, if, you're, if it's coming from you and you say it works, she goes, I want it. And uh, I happen to have a set in the Tahoe with me. And, well, she uh, asked you if you got any with you or something? She did. That's exactly it. And she had no problem buying it on the spot. She was just so excited to be able to take something that would have that kind of value behind it and uh, the integrity behind it and the research. She just, you know, within 10 minutes, it was a done deal. It was a wonderful experience. Yeah, and I think if you're going to be doing, uh, you know, going out and about, you better have some product with you. Now, it the is, cell phone lady, this was interesting because you went to work on the cell phone, and, and this particular lady obviously had a case of acne. So I know you were looking at her when you walked up to her, right? It is. It, it, you know, you look at people differently, and uh, we just happened to be talking, and I didn't really mention the acne, but she had said the same thing, you know, what have you been doing and stuff, and we led into it, and she actually took, um, I had a sample with me, and she took the sample, and I heard from her yesterday, and she wants a complete set. She has had unbelievable results with it, and uh, it is, it's just really, you know what, it's the passion. You are so right, and Terry is so right about the passion and the action, and when it really comes from you, people understand that and they relate to it and 
people really um, need time for people to care about them, and I think that's why I've been so successful in just yeah. the one-on-one. It's just that you're showing that you're actually caring about something that they haven't been able to find a solution to, and, you know, hopefully the glimpse will do that for them. Well, you know, I really like it. I want to just review this very carefully, folks, for those that are listening, uh, because the samples, I think, are one of our secret weapons. And I know the company is scrambling, trying to get more samples in. We should have some in in a couple, a couple more weeks. What basically happened is that they never intended originally to put samples in with the builder packs, and they never thought the builder packs were going to sell that fast. So a lot of the samples got scooped up. But those of you that were smart and got in on the pre-launch all have samples. Now, as I have said before, don't be handing out samples like business cards, and do not give a sample to someone who is not interested. But in this particular case, what happened is you got into the conversation, she was highly interested, and she was ex- excitedly interested in what you had to say, and then you sent her home with a sample, which was like how many days ago? Um, you know what? It would have been three days ago, so I, I made to tell her, you know what? I said, you know what? I'll take your home phone numbers and stuff, too, and your work numbers. And then, you know what? In three days, and I explained to her how to use it since I've been working with Terry, especially with the gel cleanser about leaving it on. And um, sure enough, yesterday, you know what? You do the follow-ups, and uh, it is a wonderful, wonderful thing. But the follow-ups with the samples, I think, are the most important thing that you can do. And right. uh, I think you're exactly right. You have to be careful in how you give the samples out. You don't want to be giving them out as a business card. They're just too valuable to be doing that. Yeah, and so now this sample, this interaction has turned into a a complete system for this lady, right? It does work very well. And the same with the UPS lady. You know, she came and she wanted to know why the boxes were looking different than the the juice she's been bringing. And sure enough, you know what, I, I talked to her about the skin irritations, and her daughter has eczema really bad. And uh, she took the samples, and she actually gave me a call this morning, and uh, she'll be stopping here on Monday, and uh, we're going to meet and go over everything on Monday for her. So it is. It really works, but you know what? It's the whole process of the follow-up and the interaction, just not giving someone as if you're giving them a business card. Now, Leanne, you're a very, very busy lady, and you don't even basically have time. I know you live in the country like us to have any kind of home presentations. You're just kind of meeting people, what I call the meat market people you meet. Some of them you know, some of them you don't know. Is that right? That is right, Art. I am extremely busy right now. We do live in the country, and uh, with our family and everything else, I I also do run a chamber of commerce out here, too. So there's a lot of chance for interaction with people, and uh, sometimes it's, you know, the people that you least expect to react to something are the people that do react. And uh, now with the glimpse, the thing is you can relate to a lot of people because a lot of times you can ski see the skin issue yes, or, right. you know, they've been dealing with. I have uh, another lady and her gentleman that are, are stopping by this evening and uh, her, you know, the same thing I was mentioning with the psoriasis and the eczema and skin irritations and her whole family has been suffering from eyebrows to their hands. So she is just so excited to be stopping by this evening to get all the information. Well, Leanne, uh, fantastic. I mean, how many systems do you think you've sold? I think you're selling all completes up there, right? And, yeah, and I Canada, know. and it's a dollar exchange. It's a lot more than it is in the States. It is. That's one thing that's kind of hurting us right now. So I know we were talking about it yesterday, too, Art. Um, for the sets that I have sold, I have actually just not included the shipping and the handling. The dollar value for us right now is just is really, really not a good thing. Like, uh, you know, for $200, for an example, on a $200 case, it's almost $279 with the dollar exchange. Right. So that's something that I just kind of watched and, um, you know, figured out. Because every time if we bring the sets in, you know, sometimes we're paying $200 more. Like one of my shipments was actually right. $200 more than the first shipment that came out with the complete sets. How many uh, systems have you sold then, Leanne, before um, we... You know what, I sold eight, and we'll be on our ninth tonight, I hope. Okay, fantastic, Leanne. And just very briefly here, uh, I know you sent some pictures of your daughter, Vanessa, uh, who um, was out skating, and obviously on the left-hand side had an allergic response to the material that was in her skating outfit. Is that right? Yes, that's exactly it, right? And uh, she actually had put the dress on, and she was skating for almost three hours, and she just kept itching and itching through her dress, and by the time my husband had brought her back and she took it off, she was completely covered 
except for basically where her nylons came up. And it's really funny because I was talking with Terry in the morning about another case of eczema that I had, and she said when she was talking with Beverly and Dr. Templeman about taking the gel cleanser and actually leaving it on. So I just went and I took the gel cleanser and I put gel cleanser over her entire body. And she was very, that's just her back, but her arms and her front were swollen and red. And um, I put it on and I left it on and it was about 8 o'clock at night and by about midnight she woke up and I could see that, you know, the color was dissipating. And her legs were very itchy, so I went and put some more on it. She woke up at 6.30 the next morning, and you can see she's got a couple wrinkles on her body. But her body was completely gone, and we were almost at the point we wanted to take her to the hospital because it was so red and so swollen. Wow, fantastic and story, Leanne. It is. So that gel cleanser, you know, if you learn all the ways to work with people and help them also, and I thought, well, if I'm going to help people, i got to help my daughter. And, and it, it was, a, I could, we could not believe it. And thank God I thought about the camera and to take the pictures. Well, thanks a lot, Leanne. I really appreciate your leadership in coming on and sharing some great meat market suggestions with a little bit of a twist, talking about skin irritations. I know you said you've never yet uh, really talked about uh, anti-aging or looking better, just dealing with problems, and that's your little niche, that's your passion. That's exactly and so, it. So hopefully the other niche now, you know, we'll be able to deal with the anti-aging and the wrinkling too, but yeah, if you can, it, it's an easy way to relate to people, and there is a lot of people with a lot of skin IE issues or irritations out more there. More than so we know. That's exactly it. And thank you, Art and Terry, so much for your exceptional leadership and all of your help. Your uh, passion is phenomenal. Well, thanks, Leanne, so much for being on. And as you can all tell, Leanne is coming from her heart, and she's wanting to help people. And you know, you guys, that's what this is all about. I mean, if you can imagine the great juice that we've had for over six years, now we've got a topical. And there's so many other different ways that we're able to work with this topical. And so we're just in the beginning of learning about that. Well, and, uh, you know, Leanne's already touched on it. Terry, the fortune is in the follow-up. And I know you've got some few things to talk about before we bring our next guest on here. Well, you know, uh, I, I think with Glimpse, follow-up is going to be even more important because we want to educate people. We want them to make sure that they're getting the results and that they understand this product. Now, I, what I did when I came back from convention on the Monday and Tuesday, I actually started working the phones. And I actually phoned. I had 130 people to phone in the day and a half. And what I did is I phoned all of those people. I didn't phone like uh, Deb Pazzo's leaders. I knew that she'd be phoning them. I didn't phone Krista's. I didn't phone the Sardis. So I missed all of those people. You know, I phoned the ones that bought either a $1,000 pack or a $550 pack, you know. And I did phone a couple 200 uh, people that ordered it for their VIP. Now, the reason I phoned these people is I knew all of us had just gotten back from convention. But I also knew that these people needed follow-up. Like, how are they doing? How, uh, have they tried the product? Uh, were they at convention? And what results are they getting? And m better than that, but are they getting the product out there? You know, and so I felt it was really important. And so I really wanted to get a handle on what is our group doing out there. And I think that was really important for me to do that. And like Art says, the first call I made, I was like, oh, I don't think that sounded quite right. Because sometimes you have to leave messages. And so I just kept banging the phones all day, all night, and then the next morning. And it has really paid off because I got to answer questions like what Leanne had. You know, I got to do a little bit of tweaking, which I think is really important with this product. I got to tell all of them about remember the flushing. This is another thing that's important. So follow up, you guys. Anybody that's bought a system, that has bought a builder pack, whatever it is, make sure you follow up on them. And I also followed up on all of the leaders, such as the Sarders and Krista and, and, and Deb, to make sure that our leaders have the information and knowledge and, and they're able to train their people. Yeah, follow-up is critical here, and uh, we wanted to bring on another queen of follow-up here to talk a little bit about follow-up and why it's so important. Krista Gustafson, are you there, Krista? Yes, I'm here, Art. Hey, I love this picture that I've got here of convention, um, uh, especially I just the first time, I don't know if Terry's even see this. Now, at the bottom right-hand corner, Krista, the, now, this is what I call powerful women, right? Yeah. You've got right. this group of powerful women, and this is Karen Morton here. And you got these men on their knees at the front here, including Joe Morton. That's a. <laughs> well, 
what a great night that was. We kind of just bumped into Joe at the Monaco, as you know, and uh, got a great team shot there. Wow, that's awesome. And then, of course, that's Deb and I and, and her husband, Gary, at our, our Canada event. It was a VIP dinner. It was just beautiful. Wow, that's great. So, Krista, I know you have a lot of passion like I do for follow-up. Why do you think it's so important to do follow-up, and what is your experiences with blimp? Well, I mean, it's so important that people get great results, as you know. Um, but not only that, I mean, we have to be giving great service, you know. That's what this is all about. It's about serving others, caring for others, making sure they're getting results. How are they putting the product on? How many times are they using it a day? I've been getting the question, you know, what about makeup? You know, we had a couple girls that were still putting on their foundation over top of glimpse, and you know what? It wasn't helping. It was actually suffocating the skin. So had I not followed up on that, how would you know what was happening? What if they were just kept putting the makeup on and not getting results? Wow, Krista, that is so powerful, and I'm so glad you brought that up because, you know, at convention, I had the honor to run into a few different people that asked me different questions, and that was one of the questions. And when they came up to me, I could see they had heavy base makeup on their face, okay? The reason people use base makeup is we're trying to hide something. We're trying to camouflage something. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with base makeup. I've never been able to use it because I have such sensitive skin my body, my skin just never liked it. It would just itch at me, and I've found out all of these years that now I find out it was the chemicals my body didn't like because I am so sensitive. But, you know, Krista, I was asking these people when I saw them there because they hadn't started on their glimpse. They were just at convention buying their glimpse for the first time. I actually asked them to not use their base makeup for a couple of weeks to allow the skin to breathe, to allow that skin to heal itself and rejuvenate itself. I don't think putting it on, like you say, caking it on, is allowing the skin to really do what it can naturally do on its own. And glimpse can take you there. But, Krista, the other reason I'm glad you brought that up is, um, you know, people that do need or want to use a light powder on their skin, what I've found is there's a couple of places out there, but Berry Essentials has 100% pure Okay, not all minerals are out there. Deb and I and Krista, we've had this talk because Deb found one at Costco, and the Costco one has chemicals in it. And so I, I, I caution all of you when you're out there looking for it, but Bare Minerals, Essentials Bare Minerals, does not have chemicals in it. Okay, and so you can use that and know that it's safe because, remember, we're opening up our cells with this powerful product, Glimpse. Okay, we're now not wanting to put chemicals on top of our glimpse. Now we're feeding the cells with the chemicals. So just don't do that. Go and get the nice little Power Bear and Essentials. You can get it at Nordstrom's or Macy's. Uh, you can go online and get it. Um, but I think this would really help them, wouldn't they, Krista? Yeah. I know you got that. I brought that back for yeah, you, didn't I? Yeah, I just love it. And, of course, I don't wear a lot of makeup. I've never worn foundation either. Um, but when I'm going out, I like to put on, like, a little bit of powder. But, yeah, really important, you know, not to be putting chemicals right back into the skin after all that work Glimpse is doing for you. So. Hey, Krista, uh, before we jump on to the next conversation here, um, you know, you did a little show this week, too. You got uh, stepped out of your comfort zone, went out, and did kind of a women's show. And why don't you give folks a little idea how that worked and, and what you generated out of it and, uh, and – um, do you think this is another effective way to meet people? Absolutely. What this was is I joined um, our local women's networking. It's, it's a business networking club. And what it was is every month these ladies meet for a luncheon. And what do you do? Network. You know, you go around, you meet uh, different women, learn about their businesses, and so I went for my first time, um, but the greatest thing was they also had an open house afterwards where you could showcase. There were only a certain number of people they allowed in, and, and I managed to sneak in at the last minute to showcase Glimpse. And so it was just about a two-hour open house, um, but it was just awesome. You know, not only did I get to meet a lot of other business women, which is what I'm looking for, uh, to sort of expand my market here, 
is that people were very receptive to Glimpse. And the thing I found is that a lot of people know their products aren't good for them. They know or they've heard, but there's never really been a solution. And so I had a lot right. of interest, and yeah. now I'm just kind of taking it in steps. I'm getting them more information and setting up appointments for demos. Yeah, fantastic. And I think you've got like 10 or 11 really good contacts that you made to follow up on then, right? I did, absolutely. And one of them just so happened to be an esthetician, so I found out three-quarters of the way through our conversation. And uh, she she was very interested. She's not happy with what she's using now. So. Okay, thanks a lot, Chris. Anything you wanted to add, Terry? No, I'm just so grateful to have you and your team all, all together. I mean, you've done an amazing job as the leader that you are stepping to the plate. I know Deb Pazzo always praises you because you really took yourself and did follow up with that whole team ten levels down and has made Deb who she is today and the leadership that she's taken on because she's never done networking before, and yet uh, you stepped right in there. So we thank you so much for that, Krista. Well, I thank you. I wouldn't be here without you. So Thanks a lot, uh, Krista. And before we get into some more product follow-up, you know, Terry and I wanted to address a question that we're getting from some people. Uh, you can see that Leanne really is not getting a lot of price objections because she's dealing with people that have a concern, right? And I know, Leanne, I mean, you, you have some close friends of yours that you can be sort of flippant with and 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 you have you know when they said well isn't this kind of expensive uh, and and I'm not I'm asking you to come back on and speak I'm just relating this conversation you said yes, it's no I more expensive than other crap you've been using right yeah that you know what in, in certain people you can do that and, and sometimes you know if you know them well enough and I basically just said you know what is the price of the other crap that you're using and how can you compare something when you're comparing something that is totally chemical free and uh, look what it can do for you. And you know what, it took about 10 minutes and we turned her around. So it, it is. There's certain people that, you know, you might be able to swing around. Yeah. And, and sometimes you just know that. And, uh, and sometimes people do have to be set straight, you know, if you're, if you're able to do that in their comfort zone. So, you know what, sometimes you just have to do that and it sets right. them back. And she's very excited about it now. Okay, thanks a lot, Leanne. What I wanted to say is this, is I think women are spending way more on skin care than they would ever want to confess to anyone. And, and we're talking about four products here that basically virtually eliminates all of your personal care products. I mean, you don't need anything else. I can tell you this, and you know, this is kind of a joke that I've been relating this last week, is Terry had hundreds of bottles you know, of different kinds of things and actually a couple times has filled up garbage canfuls and recently cleared out at least 50 or 60 or 70 bottles of different kinds of creams and things that she had purchased and some of them used very little because they weren't doing anything or they irritated her skin. And so uh, I think that, uh, that this is no more expensive than what the annual budget is for most women with skin care if you look in their closets and find all the bottles that haven't been used. Hundreds of dollars of bottles are being spent, and this is something that works. And if you've got somebody that, you, first of all, this is not for the Walmart crowd, okay? And you know the kind of people I'm talking about that will drive an hour to save $3. That's not the kind of people we're looking for. And so if you're talking about people that are in lack or broke or have negative attitudes, I mean, you can't win them. And just go on to the next person that can see the value in this. But you've also got to build the value up, right? And that's why I think information builds value, stories build value. And we're going to get into a simple, simple, very simple system here in a minute that, that can build incredible value in a short period of time. It's never about the money. It's always about value. And people have money for anything that they really want in this society practically, and, and especially when it comes to skin products. And so I would just say to them, listen, you will never know what this can do until you try it. Why don't you give it a shot? Get rid of all the rest of that stuff you're using. Try something that is completely unique, chemical-free, quick feeding your body toxins. Give this a shot. And a lot of it will come from your own passion and your own certainty. And so sometimes you're getting objections uh, that are based on your own weakness. You know, in the industry, we call that your, your, all objections are your own objections. 
And so if you keep having people coming up to you saying, I think this is expensive, you need to look at your own attitudes. How do you really feel about this? You know, are you really certain about this? And believe me, okay, we're just getting started. We just launched the product two or three weeks ago. As more and more people get results and more and more stories come in and you get this out into more and more people's hands, you're going to gain that confidence. You're going to gain that certainty. And then the next time somebody comes up and says, oh, I think this is kind of expensive, you go back to them instead of with weakness. Well, I know. You go back to them and say, are you kidding me? Have you seen what this product can do? You know what I'm saying? It's all attitude. So, Terry, I know we've got to do some product follow-up. We want to go through something here that some of you are going to experience. This is called education, and so we're going to show you some pictures to show you what can happen when people get on the glimpse and, uh, and, and what to do about it. Now, here's a, a story that came in. Terry, this is a lady that had rosacea, and she had a flare-up in September. You can see her face here coming up on the screen. Uh, this is before she got on to Glimpse and, and, uh, in September. And you, can, uh, you can see that she has very sensitive skin. She's obviously had this problem for quite a while. And so as Art scrolls down, he's going to show you the next picture. Yeah. Now, okay. for instance, this slide down here, Terry, is just – her skin had calmed down, so it's not like she, she got on Glimpse like that. But that's the kind of flare-up problem she had, so it's calmed down. Now, look at what happened here when she started with the product. Look at what happened to her face here, Terry. Now, this is called um, a flushing. This is the toner. She has sprayed the toner on her face, and this is called a flushing. Now, you can see why you would want to do follow-up on everybody, because flushing is important. Now, people ask me the question all the time, how long will flushing last? Okay, some people last two minutes. Some people, it's five minutes. This lady and me, it's 45 minutes. Okay, my flushing has calmed down tremendously. It maybe now only lasts me a couple of minutes now, and some days I don't even get it at all because I'm rebalancing my face. Remember what the flushing is doing. The flushing is the toner, okay? They're spraying the toner. Now, some people like to spray the toner on their face. I don't. Art does. I like to cuff my hand and spray the toner in my hand, then clap my hands together and pat it on my face. T more toner is not better, okay, especially a person that is flushing like this. She could maybe even pull back a bit on her toner right. to not get as high of a flushing. But this is, a, this is an exciting yeah. thing, Art, isn't it? Yeah, but this is an exceptional case here of exactly. somebody that has very sensitive skin. There's very, very few people that are actually going to flush like that. But, you know, it's important, uh, and I know, Terry, we're going to talk about some of the people you've shared glimpse with, to let people know, hey, there could be some flushing, you yeah. know, that that's natural. Don't be concerned about it. If you have any problems when you get started, give me a call, right? Exactly. Just keep it real simple. But you want people aware that it's going to happen. You know, and what you want to, and here's your education, okay? The flushing is the toner is opening the cells up and allowing the nutrition to go into the cells, okay? It's kind of like if you went running for 20 minutes down the block, and you came home, you would have a flush face, okay? It would look just like that, and everybody's face is different. So it's really important, the education. So now as Art scrolls down, you'll actually see that the lady is having phenomenal results with glimpse. Well, just before I scroll, I wanted to point out that this is one hour after. So yeah. look at, it's all calmed down here, and her skin is already looking better. And, and I just wanted to also say that as a guy, I love it when it flushes a little bit. It looks like I've been out for a workout or been working outside or something. I, I don't know. I, I'm surprised that, so, that, that the women get concerned about it. But so here you can see her before and then one hour later, and then this is two weeks later, and you can see how good her skin is already looking, and even some of these lines and stuff are looking better. And, you know, just with a little bit of mineral makeup here, it has all changed, and she's absolutely delighted. My skin looks soft and smooth, and it's super hydrated, and I can't even tell I have rosacea now, she says. So she just absolutely loves the product. So we wanted to give you some real education on how that would look. Now, you can really see where we've changed that lady's life. I mean, think about it. I know what it's like to have sensitive skin. It's, it's, it's not an enjoyable thing at all because you're always concerned the next thing that you put on your skin is your skin going to like it. So I've just been so thrilled with Glimpse. Now, we've got something really exciting to talk about. And remember, there's not one way to do this. 
And, and Terry uh, has created what I'm calling Terry's Simple System for close family and friends. And so just to give you a little background here, you know, a lot of these people, Terry has a little email loop. You all have it. Remember, women love to lead with product, and they love to share pr product information with other people, right? And, and, and so, you know, they're always forwarding emails to each other a little bit, and they have this little sort of network around here. And, and most all of these people know that we're in Zango. We've approached them before. So it's not like this is an email to somebody that you don't know from Adam, okay? So I want to preface this because I, I want you to realize that, that there's a niche for this kind of a system, and you should look at your database to see who fits into this niche. You may not want to send this to everybody, or you might. I don't know. It's up to you. But basically, she's always looking for simple. I mean, she keeps telling me, Art, quit sending those long emails. I don't like to scroll. If I have to scroll, I delete. So she wants to see everything simple. And so we actually, what happened is, the start, I'll just give you a background. We, were, we sent out this link here to, and I actually have changed this now. You'll see this coming up here, to Grace Dick's pictures. And, we, and remember those pictures came out. And so we sent out this to some people, and we had one of our neighbors that said, hey, I saw those pictures. I, and I, or, I just ordered some, right? She's already a distributor. And so Terry got the idea, I want to send something out to a few of my family and friends here. And so this is the email that she created here right now. I'm going to show it to you. This is what it looks like. We're calling this Terry Simple System. And, and so, Terry, why don't you go ahead and read this email for those that are just listening and can't see this. Okay, I just want you to know that in the subject line, I chose not to put Zango in there. Because, you know, I've been dripping on families and friends for quite a while. And so I'm just telling them funny little things, like I sent Art's picture, for instance, to the family and friends that he was one of the main speakers at Zango. So I chose in the, in the subject line, I put something new. I wanted to get their attention. I think that's really important. So it's just real simple, dear family and friends, just wanted, wanted you to know with us being with Zango for five and a half years now, what is new? Lint, yes, nutrition for the skin. It is green and clean and toxin free. Art and I have been using it, this for four and a half, for four months now, and wow, we are so surprised. We are changing people's lives. Have a look at some of these pictures of people that we have helped. See glimpses before and after pictures. And then I, all I did is I sent a couple of pictures. Well, right? hold on a second here. Because this is the first email that she sent out, and, it's, yeah. and, it, and it links to the ABC Chicago News clip with uh, not just a pretty face author and, and also to her uh, organization. This is what you call unmarketing, okay? In other words, we're not really trying to sell anything here. We're not driving people to a particular website system, trying to get them to opt in. This is unmarketing. This is family and friends sharing. So this went out first. And then we got this other picture, like almost the same time. Somebody forwarded this to us like the same day, I believe, Terry, of yeah. Martha Levine. And some of you have seen this picture. And this is a picture of a lady here who um, only glimpsed one side of her face and three weeks later took a picture of both sides of her face. In other words, this is not a before picture. These are both after pictures. This side was glimpsed, and this side wasn't after three weeks. And so what we did is we turned that into a very simple email, and, Terry, you followed up then to the same group of people like the next day or the late, later that afternoon right away with this simple email here. Exactly. I just dripped on them. I didn't even say anything, you guys. I just sent the picture and said, look at this, okay? And when that picture came in, of course, I got the first email, which was from our past neighbor, Colleen. And Colleen says, wow, is this for real? And I wrote back, and all I said was yes. I didn't go into anything. I just said yes. She wrote back, and she, she said, so can we meet next week? And I said, well, how about uh, Monday, Tuesday? She says, yeah, I need some of this stuff. Right. Okay? Now, the next person uh, that, that was uh, we already had a dinner appointment with some friends. And now, what's interesting about this is we have been talking to this couple about Zango and Glimpse. I have mentioned the Glimpse, and nothing really registered, right? And as soon as she got this picture, then what happened, Daly? Uh, Terry? Okay, so she sent me an email. It, it could have been maybe 20 minutes after the email went out on the second picture. She says, wow, 
this is amazing. She says, can you bring some of that stuff tonight? I want it. Yeah, and she says, I think I can wrap my mind around this. And so, yeah, you know, she business. can see maybe how she could do a business with something that is so visual and powerful. And so we brought another system to her. But before that day ended, we had another third interaction from a neighbor who we gave a bottle to, and we couldn't even get her to drink it. And, and she called and said, I want to come over and see you, and didn't even tell us what it was about. And, you know, my neighbor always tells me why she's popping by, because, you know, we have to have, we have electric gates and stuff. And so I'm like, she says, can I come over? And I said, like, sure, what's it about? She says, no, I just need to come over. I'll be over in a few minutes. I just have to go to the grocery store, and I'll be right there. You know, ten minutes later, she's at my door. We have a nice chit-chat, and I had fed her dogs the night before, and she was grateful, so she brought me a little gift, and that was neat. We, we have such a great rapport. And so she said, so what about this glimpse? And so I said, yeah, it's amazing. She says, I saw the pictures. She says, so, like, do you have some? And I said, sure. And I yeah. said to her, would you like, I didn't know how serious she was, right, because right? she didn't drink the juice. And I said, would you like a sample? Which, you know, I could give you a sample and show you how it goes on. She says, no, I want the whole stuff. Where's the, have you got Can I buy it? Can I buy it? I'm like, sure. And I'm like, Art, this is our last system. We're like, we're out, okay? You have to order more. And she bought it on the spot, you guys. Wrote a check. Wrote a check. So I gave her information. I gave her knowledge. I told her about the toner. She says, yeah, yeah, yeah. She says, I know. Okay, I just need, I need this. You know, so I think sometimes we complicate it. I think we need to keep it simple. I can see you guys sending this out to your friends and neighbors, but I knew what I was doing. I said to Art, you've got to understand the neighbor, which we're going for Thanksgiving dinner next week, okay, that neighbor is having all of these people there. Two of the people that are going to be there have glimpse already. And so guess what's going to happen at Thanksgiving? I mean, we're telling people so that we can help them and change their lives. And so I found this very exciting, and yet it was really simple. Yeah, we go, everybody got excited around our house about it. I mean, three systems gone in 24 hours from sending out two emails. And so we actually have created a new little system. And please, you know, don't abuse it, and, and, and you may not want to do this with everybody. Be selective at who you send this out to. There's some people that you may want to call first, high-quality prospects. And I'll tell you what, if you really want to take it up a notch, if you're really serious about your business and really would like to take it up a notch, you can follow this system, do exactly what Terry did, but within 24 to 48 hours, now pick up the phone and call every single one of those persons and say, did you get my emails on Glimpse? I just wanted to see if you had any questions and if you would like to try it. That is another form of follow-up. Now you're following up because if three people are interested already off of this list, there's another half a dozen that are interested but not enough to reach out and take action. So you can follow up. Did you get my email on that glimpse? I've been using it. It's amazing stuff. Would you like to try it? Do you notice I wasn't saying, did you want more information? I didn't have even said uh, a sample at this point in time. Would you like to try it? Uh, and they might say, yeah, well, how much is it? How do you get it? And so at that point in time, you have a decision to make. You know, do you want to have them over if they're local? Do you want to give them a sample if they're long distance? Or maybe they're ready to buy. Don't assume they're not ready to buy. These people all bought, right? And so what we're doing here right now, and I hope you're staying to the end, because in about 60 seconds, this email, this first email of Terry's, is going to be delivered to your inbox. Okay, this email is coming your way, exactly like this, except we've got a shorter URL here. And within 30 minutes after that, at the bottom of the hour, the second email is going to come into your inbox. And these are duplicatable. You could put your own story at the top here if you want, if you've got a story, a little short, tiny, tiny little story here, one or two sentences. Or you could just forward this out, and Terry and I put our story in there. It doesn't matter who it comes from. In fact, forwards often look unmarketing. So you, you're going to get this one at 11. You're going to get the second one at 11.30. Follow the system. Send it out to the right people. And then think about following up on those people. This is for selling product. This is not necessarily looking for business builders. Now, here's our, here's our plan. I know we're out of time. Here's our plan. We're going to look for one of these stories a week. 
And every Saturday afternoon after the webinar, we want to put out a new picture story that we're going to deliver to your inbox every Saturday because now you can drip. Once a week is a good drip. After these first couple emails, once a week, we're going to forward out a new story. And, in fact, we're going to have some Zango stories sometimes that are going to go out too about the juice, especially powerful visual stories with pictures. And so this is, this is awesome. I, I think it's a great tool. Uh, the genius of my wife, Terry, Simple System. Terry, I think we've got to close out. Anything else you wanted to mention? No, I think it's been a great call. Thanks, everybody, for being on the call, and thanks for our great leaders that spoke to help everybody on this call. Just remember to do your follow-up, to share with people and get the, you know, the juice is going to filter in with the people on limps and back and forth and forth so it's really important to know that the two do go together we're working from the inside out and now the outside in so thank you all and lastly uh, these are the dates left for the glimpse launch tour you know anybody in minneapolis chicago phoenix las vegas utah take advantage of these events that are storming the country with glimpse thank you all for coming on thanks a lot deb pazzo leanne whaling uh, and Krista Gustafson, let's open up the line so that we can thank you and uh, wish you a happy Thanksgiving, and um, we'll see you on the next call. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>